Hey everyone, this is Avinand from CG Artist Academy and I'm back with a new tutorial. This time we're gonna crush something with Houdini. We will definitely crush and also tear apart. Okay, so what we're gonna create is this. And again in this we crushed it and one more thing I'm, I'm gonna tell you which is this we will crush and tear it okay so let's get started go to your Houdini and first of all let's create a geo node rename it Crush, crushed with Houdini. Cool. You get get inside the node. Create a file node. Okay. Now select your can. Whatever the model you want to crush. In my case, I'm gonna use a can. It's looking a bit too large, so we're gonna need a transform node. Transform and scale around 0.2. Cool. Okay, so this is my can which I'm gonna crush. Let's save this file. So now we're gonna apply the remesh node. Remesh. Okay. And 0.02. Should be the value uh, I guess point two is the value yeah that is fine okay now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a cube okay and template this and place it around here Scale it 1.3, 1.3, 1 1.3. Okay, so it should cover the um, radius of the can. Okay, so let's make it, let's place the value of 2, 2, 2. Okay, so let's have the value of 4 here. Yeah, that looks fine. And right click, keyframe, set key. Okay, disable the simulation by clicking here. Okay, and go to your around uh, 50th frame and a value of 2. Right click, key, sorry, right click, commit change. Okay, so that way. Now we have a keyframe animation over here. Okay, let's have a simulation of 75 frames only. Yeah, okay. So now add a vellum cloth. Let's add it vellum cloth. Okay, and vellum solver. Vellum solver. Let's quickly connect this here, here, here. Okay. And remesh to this and our cube to the collision geometry. Okay. So now what we need is we need to change few settings. So let's go to the cloth. And first of all, in the drag value, we will place the value of 2500. 2500. Okay. And, and in stretch, damp ratio would be 0 0.08. Disable the compression stiffness and the bend stiffness should be same as the stretch stiffness to copy it and paste here. Okay, and damp ratio would be 0.8. 
now enable the plasticity okay and value should be here one and in hardening should be thousand okay so next we're gonna change the vellum solver values here in steps should be sub steps should be four and here we will add 16 sub steps in the con constraint iterations okay so yeah that's it let's simulate it okay save your file and let's see how the simulation comes so our caching is done and now i can see there are a few things which are not going right so let's fix that first of all we don't have a grounding and other thing is we need to change plasticity hardening value okay so let's do that first of all in our vellum solver enable the ground okay and go to your cloth and here instead of thousand we just need hundred okay so let's quickly save it and simulate again so our simulation is done and now you can see it's coming the way i want it's crushing it and it's looking pretty awesome now yeah we almost achieved the desired look we wanted okay next thing what we want to do is see you can see it's very low poly right now so one thing we can do here is add a vellum sorry vellum post process okay and let's connect here here and here and we can see by adding this catmull clock okay so so the if you increase the depth you will get the subdivided mesh so if i switch off the smooth width wire shaded sorry so now you can see it's completely smooth but at the same time if i export it definitely it will like uh, if i export as a alembic file it will create like 2 gb of my space okay so i don't want that first of all another thing is what i need is, need is same the same um, crust uh, effect which i have created here i need to put that on my high res geometry okay so what i'm going to do is i'll import my high res geometry and same this uh, crust look i will just apply with the point deform node okay so let's do that first of all i'm going to create a file node okay file node let's import the high res geometry which is this okay next i need a transform node okay let's connect that and at the same value uh yeah point two sorry point two okay next i need a point deform node point deform okay so let's connect things my main geometry should be in the first point remash should be connect on the middle one which is this will be the uh, deform node okay okay and the third one is my final out which is vellum solver here okay so let's connect this and see what comes and as you can see so my geometry is dis deforming let's increase the radius around 0.2 and it's giving me the look i wanted okay and now it's my if you see in a wireframe it's my high-res geometry and when i'm gonna export it as a alembic in another 3d application i just need to add a one sub uh, sub deform yeah sub divide option okay so that way i can definitely save my data if i export from here like uh, after the post process definitely my file will be huge so it applicable not all the time but sometimes you can save your space okay so it's done almost so we have achieved this one 
okay the crush one now we need to do is the tear thing okay let's do that very quickly so let's enable our solver well i'm solver save your file and after remesh node we need to add a node which is edge fracture okay let's connect here okay go to the first frame and let's see by output primitive pieces and show geo it's not showing i don't know why okay you need to click here in the in this pin node okay now you can see okay so next what we need is we need 22 pieces over here yes like this okay and that's it for here now what next we need is we need a vellum weld node okay so let's connect here in between let's change few settings over here okay stiffness should be one okay and break-in should be on and the value would be 0 0.005 okay and we need to add this stiffness drop off and the value of one okay uh, let's that's it let's simulate our simulation again and let's see how it comes so the simulation is done and let's see how it comes So when I'm <clears throat> reviewing my timeline, you can see that at the certain pressure rises, the mass started tearing off, okay, with the crash animation, okay. So I guess it's almost we got the look we want to achieve, okay. So it's pretty much it. And when you want to export this, if you want to export this you can easily do that rop alembic change few settings okay first of all render frame range in here render with take main and select your path wherever you want to uh, save it and hit this button save to disk that's it that's how that's how you can export your alembic file like it started again okay I don't want that because I already exported that so I cancelled it okay let's jump into Maya now I'll show you how I did that there okay so so here in Maya I just uploaded updated this uh, mesh like imported the alembic okay now you can see this is the tier one if I hide this this one is my crushed one okay and I just applied a map here okay and rendered with the red shift another pretty simple setup okay so that's how I got this look okay as you can see here the crust metal okay and even the tear off thing so I hope you guys like this tutorial and you find this helpful so please share with your colleagues your friends and don't forget to like or subscribe my channel okay thanks for giving your time and we'll see you next time bye bye